Hi viewers, if you have the Mercury Montago, Ford Freestyle or Ford 500 cars, uh, they have the same engine type. Uh, you might be facing the same issue I had with this car. This is a 2005 Mercury Montago. For a long time, it felt like it has some sluggishness with the transmission. So at low speed, it will have problem uh, accelerating like it almost feels like uh, though it's a six cylinder i was it almost feels like it's a four cylinder car so it just it was very sluggish in at low speeds but when you are at the high speed fourth or fifth gear uh, it's an automatic transmission but you feel like it just totally fine right no problem at the car it just runs totally smooth so for a long time i thought that there is a problem with the transmission. Uh, it's somehow probably slipping or anything at, at the low gear. But one time at the high speed, it just works fine. So I was just waiting for it to completely die before doing any major repair or the, you know, swap with the transmission. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was just kind of the first guess that transmission is a problem, but I did not think about that the throttle body can cause that sluggishness um, and it never gave any check engine light either so for continuous use because it's again sluggishness at low speed so it, it was not really a um, you know show stopper I was still able to use this car for a long time but finally it died or I, I don't remember exactly whether it went on limp mode or it just completely died. I think it went on limp mode and it was not just accelerating. And uh, the check engine light came on and uh, I don't remember the code again. It was related to throttle body open or close. So that, that indicated that there is a problem with the throttle body. So I replaced the throttle body. Again, the, the throttle body on this car uh, it's the same one which I'm, you know, showing you with the headlight right now. This guy, um, it's pretty expensive if you buy it brand new. It's like three hundred to four hundred dollars from parts store or dealer. Uh, but again, uh, do a easy fix. Go to junkyard and swap it with the used one. Uh, just for your information, they, I think they later. Uh, made the up model updated so now you will see two versions coming into it this one you see a heated throttle body but they also make um non-heated like the ford came up with the non-heated version that is supposedly the upgraded version uh but fortunately i just found the heated version in the junkyard so i swapped with that if you find a, if you don't find a heated version you can always swap with the non-heated version you'll just have to play with the uh coolant lines and you know um, either clamp it or connect it uh, back to itself I was using some couplers but yeah I just wanted to make a quick video to see if you are having trouble with the same issues you know facing each same issue and uh, kind of wrong diagnosis to be uh, diagnosing it to be a transmission uh, I would say just go ahead and swap in with the throttle body again. If you do it from the jump yard, junkyard, it's not a big deal. Uh, part is pretty cheap. Uh, labor is pretty cheap either. It's probably took me less uh, at the max 30 minutes to swap it out. Again, of course, you have just also count on a trip to junkyard to find a part. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to share this information and see if anybody out there seeking the same thing and it helps somebody that, that's all is needed um, if you like the video please um, like it share it subscribe to the channel